Hello everybody and welcome to The Daily Blue. Today is a really exciting day for us because we are launching another new show, Sikorsky's Thinkabouts. And today, I am here with your new show host, Laura Sikorsky. Welcome. Thank you. Great to be here. Thank you for joining us, our family, on The Daily Blue. I am so excited to be part of the family. Thank you. It's a great feeling. And now, I know you for being this very powerful businesswoman, but also very philanthropic, really endearing. Tell us a little bit about what your show is going to be. The show is, a, is something, a concept I thought about many, many, many months ago, and I wanted to share, uh, I've been in business since 1986, and wanted to share things that I've learned over the years with people. Just and your thoughts. Just, just, this is what you need to think about. This is what I suggest you look at. And so the show is going to have guests along with myself. And uh, we're going to talk about things that really concern your customers today and how we can fix it. So your audience would appeal to the business owner or somebody in the management yes. arena? So anyone that has to deal with customers? Absolutely. And it could be customers on the phone or retail stores. Right. I know many times uh, I'm talking with people and they say, you know what the thing about today is nobody smiles when you go in to see a customer. True. And you walk into the store and you, you just, you just want to feel welcome. Sure. But nobody's there to do that. Sure. And you suddenly say, well, I'm in this store and I want to spend some money or I'm on the phone and I want to I want to spend some money or I have a problem and that other person on the end of the phone is just so drab so boring they really don't care it's true and we need to think about everything. right and we need to think about how we can fix that sure and that's what the purpose really of the show is I love it but you know customer service is also a part of your branding and who you are as a mm -hmm. company and that can be anybody from the secretary to the person that's even mm -hmm. helping to pick up the garbage. If they don't have a smile on their face, right. it kind of shows w what the company is about and who they mm -hmm. are. Who, who do they care about? Yeah. And also, Laura, are you going to be speaking at all about how customer service is used for social with social media? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. A lot of different things that happen in social media. Where um, years ago, if you did something, it, you would tell eight or nine other people if you were upset. Yeah. Today, if you're upset with someone on the on due due to an issue, uh, you reach 150,000 people in one click. Sure. And the the trauma that can happen with a company and how they can go down the tubes very quickly. Sure. If they're not having somebody watch that social media, making sure that somebody's keeping on top of what people are saying. Yeah, I love that. So now you said you started in business in 1986. Mm -hmm. Tell me a little bit about your background and who is Laura, Laura Sikorsky. Well, thanks. I appreciate that. Um, I My career started actually in call centers in customer care. I worked for a limousine company, and then I worked for Hilton Hotels. Wow. And uh, for them, I designed all their reservation centers around the, uh, around the globe from a telephony and facilities design. Okay. And uh, built 800 Hiltons for them and left. Wow. And decided that... Uh, they had moved to Texas, and my husband and I wanted to stay in Long Island. So we decided to um, start the business. And friends of mine said, you could consult. And I said, I don't know how to consult. Right. And so 1986 to the present, here it is, and I'm still working. So it's exciting, very exciting. So you started this what year? 1986. You did? Wow. Yeah. That's yeah. phenomenal. It is a long yeah, time. It is. And customers are, are so important in people's mm -hmm. business, but I don't know that it's always been what every business owner thinks about. Truly. And what happens is it's, it's not just the customer or the customer service agent. It's the entire process right. that you, a, a company has to do, even with branding and being more customer-centric than company-centric. Sure. Um, I often talk about the Heinz ketchup bottle. Uh, Heinz always had the bottle that had the long neck and used to, have to put the knife in to get yes. the ketchup out. Yes. Well, their new brand is the squeeze bottle that you leave upside down. They were thinking customer centric. Sure. So, I, and that's what we need to focus on today. I think a lot of companies, um, you know, have not really looked at the benefit of ROI by using their employees. And right. an employee is the company's greatest asset. And I think people forget about that. Culture is extremely important in a company. Yeah. You know, thinking about what the com how the employee is going to react about a new policy or a change. And that all affects how they deal with the customer. And people just do forget that. 
Yeah, so your focus will be on having guests in to discuss people's businesses and their view about dealing mm -hmm. with a customer. Mm -hmm. Okay, so tell us a little bit about some of the guests that you will be having on. Well, we have Adrienne Miller, who is uh, the guest next week, and she's going to talk about upselling on the phone. I'm sure every one of us has gotten a phone call and they just continue, you have to do this, you have to buy this, and why you have to buy it. And you become threatened and just say, I really don't want to talk to you anymore, and you disconnect. Sure. She's going to talk about how you can be comfortable on the phone upselling. Right. Then uh, the following week, you're going to interview me again, but we're going to talk about leadership in, in the contact center. How do you create people that can do that? Uh, the following week, we have a technologist who's going to come in, and he's going to talk about what is happening all across our industry and how the customer uh, can bypass that horrific press one, press two. That oh. uh, you know, And yeah. I find that when I go to companies or I ask, other people, you know, what is the most horrible thing that you dislike? Well, I can't understand somebody when I call the phone, yes. phone number, and I can't get a real live person. It's so annoying. It is. It's and, really, really annoying. And I find that, yes, you know, people do offshore, and they offshore because of economics. Mm -hmm. But there is, a po uh, there is something happening in the industry where we've lost 500,000 jobs in the last, like, four or five wow. years, but we have almost 100,000 that have come back. Right. Because people are understanding that it's not cheaper to yeah. go offshore. No, you end up losing customers. You do, because people hang up the phone and go elsewhere, go sure. to your competition. But with the press one, press two, that has just really annoyed so many people. And, you know, one of my thoughts to a lot of companies, if you need to, some people want to do self-service sure. and some people want a live agent. Give it the option up front when somebody wants it. And so slowly people are starting to understand that people want to talk to humans. Oh, we do. I, everybody does, I think. Yeah. I, sometimes I will pick up the phone to speak to my bank or a credit card, mm -hmm. and I dial zero right away, thinking that's going to send me to uh, right. a, a, uh, a, a real person, but it doesn't. No, no. And every industry is like that. It used to be you could press star, you could press pound, and you knew you were going to uh, get to a, a live agent. Or in, you know, some of the companies have that speech recognition. So what happens with them, you would just say agent, 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 and then eventually you'd get to a live agent. Sure. But, you know, the technology is brilliant when it works right. Sure. So what we're going to do with our technologists is talk about how you could set it up so it'll work right and your customer will be happy mm -hmm. that they routed themselves wherever they wanted to go and sure. got there with pain, less pain. Right. So. so tell us a little bit about uh, what customers want. Okay, let's kind of, kind of go through this. Customers want to do business with you on their terms. When they want, what time of the day that they want, and the method or channel that they want. So the method may be they want to talk to you or they want to email you or they want to fax you. But the new trend in the industry is that they expect the same service. Sure. Whether or not they call you or fax you, etc. The other things that I think companies need to consider today is that customer experience needs to be your primary goal. Right. Service is a product. A lot of times companies just think they have a, a, a piece of paper or a pen or whatever it is that they want to yeah. sell, but service is what they want to sell. Again, to, to reinforce employees are your most important asset because without them you would not be in business sure. today. And quality is everyone's responsibility and it's not necessarily voice quality or it's quality of the product etc I think that this is such a great concept or something to think about we, I think treating See, your think employees about, right? think about <laughs> I think treating your employees like their customers yes is a is a yes. good attitude to have and you know another mantra of mine is that companies need to think like a customer don't put your we were talking about the press 1 press 2 technology don't put your jargon in there. They don't know what you're talking about. Exactly. Or if you're doing your FAQs on a website that's frequently asked questions, um, make them so that you're, they're understandable yeah. by the reader, that they'll right. know what the, it is that they want. Sure. 
This, I think, is, is the industry today, there's so many different buzzwords. It's customer service, customer engagement, customer, customer experience, experience, right? They're two very, very different things. Okay. Customer service is a specific thing that happened with the customer. Either they had a problem with a delivery, had a problem with the bill, uh, they ordered something and it arrived damaged. It's a one-time decision that they have to call you. But you have to make that a pleasant experience. Don't be a guard that you can't give them things that they want. Yeah. A lot of times what happens in our industry is that the agents that answer the phone or the people in the retail store are not empowered yeah. to help with that customer yeah. and that they have to go seek it elsewhere. So that's another critical issue for customer service. Okay. Now customer experience, that's the warm and fuzzy. Yeah. From the time that they dealt with you, the first call that they made, are they continuing to yeah. be loyal? Are they giving you what you need? Are you giving them what they need? And I think today, if you notice here, it costs seven times more to attract a new customer than to retain an existing. And that's a pretty daunting kind of information. Sure. So, but this slide, it, it's amazing to me how this has changed because of social media, yeah. I think. Oh, yeah. Uh, customers expect immediate oh, attention. Absolutely. And even in business, we also expect immediate inf you know, information. Don't you get calls from people, I sent you a text. Yeah. I sent you an email. When are you going to get back to me? And people today think that you're just glued to your PC, glued to your tablet, glued to your phone, and you're going to respond. Sure. And it, this is a dynamics that's happening. The other one that's interesting is 40% within five minutes. So they're giving a little breather, but they still, that's 71% of your customers want immediate reaction yeah. time. 11 will wait 30% and then 3% real, they don't care, you know. Yeah. But this within a day, this yeah. I think is extremely telling because how many of you will see on um, information on FAQs or on websites, we will get back to you with on fax or email within 24 or 48 hours. Right. But that's that's crazy. Yeah, it, nobody does, wants that anymore. No, they don't. They want instantaneous gratification. Sure. And so I think companies today, I think this is a very telling slide, it and really they is. need to think about their customers and how they're going to approach them on all future business. Now, do you suggest then that companies have a uh, live chat on the website or something like that to help? Because Absolutely. how do you combat if somebody... If you're, especially if you're a global company and you're writing right. at one o'clock in the morning and there's nobody working. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, absolutely. I think what, um, I just, just to finish up on okay, the social yeah, media, please. but there's 150,000 people get affected by yeah. that. Yeah. But these are the, this is what's happening today in the world of technology, okay. in the world of how customer re customers reach you. And we call them test touch points in the industry, but we also have to remember that, yes, and we'll talk, we'll go through this technology, but a lot of people forget that there are phone numbers on the bills. You know, I, there was one customer I work with, there were seven different phone numbers on the bill, and the wow. bill was like five yeah. pages long, and there was one number in the front for customer service, and by the time you got to the end, there was like three or four different phone numbers just for customer service, sure. and then for billing, and et cetera. Yeah. And then and so what's happening today in the industry is, yes, the telephone is the primary focus, focus right. really, on how people want to talk to you. Right. But then email, we were talking about website, email and chat. Chat is going to move up. Okay. Quite yeah. free. It's going to move up a lot. Um, you know, I personally like to chat because I like to multitask. Right. So when I chat, I know, well, the chat person, he's or she is probably using three or four different chat sessions. Right. I'm doing email while I'm chatting with them and so yeah. forth. I love it because yeah, it, it works really it well. It really does get you what you want sure. and then you get a printout of exactly what happened. Mm -hmm. You don't get a printout on the telephone. No, that's although true. Although there was that issue with a, a cable company where they he, it was a viral message that went out and he taped the res agent because he didn't like exactly what they were saying. Wow. But, you know, it was kind of a, a, a little different take on how to do that. But, you know, email. There's a, that's your website. Yeah. You know, you go and you ask information. I, I sent an email recently to a company, and I said, I need to speak to somebody. I need to know if you have a consultant liaison program. I need to know about your product. All they did was 
put me on their dist email blast, distribution oh goodness, list. Really? So they're not reading. No. So this is concern. But SMS text, that's your texting. People yeah. want to text you. Yeah. And the problem we have in the industry today is the 800 numbers, the toll-free numbers. Technology is just not there yet for you to text to an 800 number. Right. But what is happening today is that traditionally in a call center, the agent took telephone transaction. But today, you can route a hard copy email directly to an agent. You can do a fax directly. You can do a chat directly. And then you can get all these statistics, et cetera, that you need about it. Yeah. But mobile, you know, the Gen Yers, uh, they're there. I mean, 85% of all Gen Y have a smartphone. Mm -hmm. And they would rather text, and that's it, Absolutely. and get it over with. Right. And of course, uh, speech self-service, you know, a lot of the times. I think that's that's not a, as good of a technology yet, because people, it's the accents, it's still a very difficult, yeah. difficult way to do business. But the other thing is, that's happening in customer service and customer care and customer experience is that we there the industry calls it multi-channel and omni-channel. We always like to have wonderful names yeah. in our in our industry. And but you know you need to have a company that let let's just say they decide to have a telephone, email, website, and a social media presence somewhere. Yeah. What you need to do is make sure that you have a seamless experience with that technology because what the person says here in telephone should be the same answer that somebody texts back in Absolutely. a chat session. And so that is what omni-channel. So if you're out there and you're trying to say, okay, what is this new new the buzzword or new ah. acronym? You can call, you can Twitter us at Twitter at Laura Sikorsky and uh, we'll help you go th get through those yeah. acronyms. I've noticed that, Laura, with some of our custom, our clients that we would, we will be marketing for them and branding them and it's consistent mm -hmm. and then the customer, uh, the client for us will be saying, right. you know, what, we're not we're not getting the follow through or closing the deal. And I don't understand that. So we've run some tests on a mm -hmm. cu couple of clients and actually made the phone call and realized that's where the, the problem is with the customer service. It didn't, um, it didn't, uh, it wasn't synergistic with what, with what we're saying online right. Right. and what we're doing. And then the call person or the person, the telemarketer or the, um, I'm sorry, the, the, agent. the agent will keep somebody on hold for I don't know how long yeah. and then people will get frustrated and we're telling them we're going to get back to you right away. Mm -hmm. Nobody wants to be sitting on the phone. And a lot of times people, you know, agents, let's just say, or that division, the customer care division of a company, they don't understand the new marketing or the new branding that's gone sure. out because they haven't been part of the culture or yeah. part of that formation. Sure. And they don't understand the importance of it. And right. that that's sad that they don't, you know, that the company culture, like we spoke about, is extremely important. Right. But um, the follow through by the agent and the, the when you said, oh, they were put on hold, sure. well, technically what an agent is supposed to do it's called servicing the call every 30 seconds they should go back and just say I'm still checking for you right okay do you mind do you mind continuing right. to hold how many times you call somebody or call a general company and you and they answer and you go please hold and then they put you oh, down isn't that terrible and it's annoying not even a chance to say I just want to know what time you're open until yeah 30 bye right right you but know. I also find too is that um, I just had an experience recently trying to reach a doctor's office and all I wanted to do was cancel an appointment yeah. because they called me to say, I'm canceling the, I want to know if you want to cancel this appointment or reschedule. Okay. I could not get a live body. Every time I called back and it said, if you want to reach this person, right. you know, right. press here. I right. pressed there, got a recording. Right. Finally, That's what happened to me too. With finally, the you know, and finally I got to the point and I said, okay, I'm not coming in for the appointment. You better get back to me because if you decide to bill me, I have a record right. <laughs> that I'm not coming. Right. And I tell you, within a half hour, I got a phone call. Oh, now, you that's did. it. Yeah. You know, why is it that the customers today, you have to, th and I'm not saying threaten, but they have to get to the point that yeah. they're so frustrated. Sure. And so here it is. We're talking about an experience. So, you know. It means and something. We're, and we're not going to tell you the name of the doctor, right. but this is unfortunate in what's happening sure. today. I think even if you have a customer that's canceling or canceling service, uh, you don't know what the reasons are that they're canceling. And if you mistreat that, 
and mm -hmm. you're not careful about it or you're, you know, there's companies that will charge you until you're run out of the contract. Sorry, mm -hmm. your contract's for one year. Right. Okay, well, I'm on nine months and I want to get out of it. And mm -hmm. they don't let you get out of it. And what a shame because you lose that customer forever mm -hmm. because you put such a poor a distaste Absolutely. in their mouth. Oh, of, oh, of, what about you know the the um, the cable company who is you see all these deals in the newspaper and you call up and say excuse me how about me and yeah. they say nope can't do that can't do it yeah wow such a, it's, it's such a shame okay so tell us about the little things that can okay well this one I got to put the glasses on because all right. this one the type is a little bit yeah. less. Okay, we talked about it takes time to navigate an IVR menu. Okay, um, and that's unfortunate because. When you're building an IVR, and that's that PRESS-1, this is another acronym in, in our industry, yeah. some people build it for eight presses. Ridiculous. Right. Four presses, you get a submenu, four presses, you best get your answer or you best go to a live agent. Right. Uh, the wait time to speak, we just spoke about that. And sure. these are, and you and I did not have a conversation no, about we what we're going to put up here, but these are things that bother customers. Yeah, sure. Uh, cannot understand what the person oh, is saying. Very frustrating. And then uh, call getting a person that isn't very helpful. How often, you know, does that happen? And what, and uh, we're going to have Randy Bussey, uh, who is well known on Long Island, and we're going to talk about training right. in a few weeks right. because people they do on the job training side by side training but they're not training people no. on how to be a good employee and no. what they need to do their job the right way um, no response to a question on email or social media again you yeah. know people are frustrated uh, what you do not say is you're sorry people have forgotten I'm sorry what a please right. thank you right. and those are the most important words in the in the yeah. industry and we just spoke about that. New customers get better deals than existing customers. And that's a, a, that's a shame because it's your, the loyalty of your customers that is, keeps you in business sure. today. Just and that pat on your back is so nice. It uh, is. Keeping customers and keeping them happy. Keeping them happy. And, and it's such a little thing can right. go a long way. Right. Happy customers or happy employees right. mean happy customers. Right. So, Absolutely. And it's just a vicious cycle and people just forget. I agree. Wow. Well, this is going to be a phenomenal show. We are really looking forward to it. Uh, I want to remind our viewers that next week, that's September 15th, uh, Laura will be having Adrian Miller on. Mm -hmm. That's the first show with a guest. Right. Looking and forward I to that. thank you so much for coming today. I think that you offered a great deal of information just for the first show. But we'll be picking up a whole lot more. And I appreciate everyone for joining us. Please stay thank tuned you. next week and every Monday, live at 11 o'clock in the morning. Sikorsky thinks about and that is going to be live you can yes. tweet you can Facebook or you can certainly call in the number at the Daily Blue is 631-337-1603 this is Corinne Caro thank you for joining us with our lovely new host welcome to the family Laura thank you and I enjoy it bye bye wonderful thanks everyone